Hey there folks, this is Scott once again, and I'm coming to you with a kind of a quick Blu-ray update that I got. I did not expect to get these Blu-rays that soon. In fact, I ordered these Blu-rays on March 27th, and I just got them today. I was not expecting that at all. I'm quite surprised. Uh, that seller on eBay is going to definitely get a positive review for me for sure, so. But I'll just get on to it. Um, got three Blu-rays here, well, and but in total I got like seven movies, and I actually got seven movies... Uh, well, I've got three Blu-rays, and I got $5 off, and then apparently, like, I had them saved in my cart, then, like, the next day, apparently, eBay threw me a, an extra, like, a $3 coupon off on this deal, so I figured I might as well use it. And so, what was, what was originally, um, probably gonna be over $40 ended up being, uh, $39.28 with the $5 off of these Blu-rays, plus another $3 off, and all total, I've only paid, like, Thirty six twenty eight, which is not bad for six for no seven movies. And I'll start with this one here. Uh, right here, I have the Wishmaster four film collection here. I believe all of them have extras and whatnot. Uh, apparently, it looks like the sequel only has an audio commentary, which kind of sucks because you know I I think it deserves a little more than that, and it's kind of weird. Like, the first one has, like, an English 2.0 DTS, but the sequel has a 5.0. And then the third one has the English DTS 2.0. And then the fourth one has 5.1, which is... That's strange. I'm just now noticing this. But either way, I'm glad to have in my collection. And I know the first two are definitely worth it because Andrew Devolf, you know, really plays the, the, the gene... The, not the gene, but the... The gin very well in this one. Or in the human form. Andrew Duvalf really owns the role, even though the sequel is maybe a slight step down from the first one, but uh, it's still a fun sequel. Three and four I have yet to see, but I hear they're pretty shitty, so... Uh, but the good news is I got I got this... only paid like around $15 total for all four films, and that's not bad, considering that I got a discount on this, so yeah. But yeah, the Wishmaster got some features, even has the slipcover... I don't know if it's reversible, so I'll eventually find out, but yeah. Uh, another Vestron series. They're the ones that did the Warlock uh, collection. They've done several other uh, movies like Chopping Mall and... Is it Chopping Mall? I don't remember, but um, they've done a lot of great uh, Blu-ray editions recently, so yeah. And over here I got a film that's about to be... Uh, well, actually, that's I'll actually get to that later, but I got a double feature... And it's of uh, Easy Money and the movie Men Men at Work. I remember I haven't seen the one with Ronnie Dangerfield. I'm sure it's good, but yeah, you get a double feature. And uh, I, I I'm more familiar with Men at Work because I remember that film, watching that film when I was a kid, and I remember the fries scene very well, where Emilio Estevez's character tries to steal the fries, and then Keith David's character just grabs him real fast. Like there are several secret things in this role that you don't ever mess with. One of them happens to be another man's fries. You remember that, and you will live a long and healthy life. And just, like, somehow kind of just yanks the fries out of the Emilio S. Rose, and Charlie Singh's character kind of mouths up, what the fuck? <laughs> Which I thought was hilarious. But yeah, I always liked the film. And I'm glad to see it on Blu-ray, because apparently the DVD's out of print and even more expensive. I got, I think, all total of, it was like 14.06 with a discount, and probably with, you know, the $3 coupon, and knocks another dollar off. So yeah, I got $13.00 total for these two movies, which is pretty good if you ask me. Unfortunately, I don't think they have any features, unfortunately. That sucks, but anyways, I'm glad to have it on, on Blu-ray. So, yeah. Then we have the Nicolas Cage film, Knowing. And uh, I, have ne I have yet to even see this film. It's got to be interesting because it's, it's Alex Proyas, the guy that did uh, uh, The Crow. He also did Dark Cedar... Oh, gosh. I can't talk today. <clears throat> I'll start over again. His name is Alex Proyas. Um, he did The Crow, the very first one, the first and the best one. Then he did Dark City, which I do have on Blu-ray. And then he also did this film, Knowing. And it did reasonably well from what I read, but I have yet to see it. But um, I'm, I kind of know how it ends, But uh, <laughs> which is funny. Knowing, I already know. I already know this movie kind of well already, so yeah. But I'm glad to have it. It was, like, very cheap. It was, like... How much did I get with the discount? So uh, it was like six oh five, and let's say I got another doll off. That's like five dollars for the Blu-ray, so that's not bad at all. 
and it has features. And sadly, Alex Proyas, the last film he did was, uh, just want to make note of it, was Gods of Egypt. And I know that was a flop. And I, and to be honest, it didn't look that appealing to me. So yeah, because of the, the rate, <clears throat> all the <clears throat> racial inaccuracies with that movie and whatnot. So yeah, I'm sure it might be entertaining, but I have yet to even bring myself to watch that. But I'm sure this will be decent. I always thought Nicolas Cage was a decent actor when he wanted to be. I have the other film, Mandy, and that's proof of that. That's a film that came out last year, so yeah. Anyways, glad to have them. I have another Blu-ray set on the way, which is actually the Mission Impossible set. So that should be here sometime next week. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up, and I'm going to actually do a movie review of, of later if I get around to it. So I'll be seeing you in another video, folks. Later.